In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and mount a camera to the Noto Ninja 3 Mark II. Starting with the package, we have the lower assembly and the upper assembly of the Noto Ninja 3 Mark II. We're going to remove the lower assembly. On the bottom side, you'll note that we have a 3 8 inch threaded hole. We also have a 3 8 to quarter inch thread adapter, depending on the size of the thread mount that we're attaching it to. In this case here, we're going to mount the Noto Ninja 3 onto our optional easy leveler, which is really handy for leveling a pano head. To mount it onto the easy leveler, simply take and rotate it, screw it on good and tight so you have a good secure fit. Next we'll take the upper assembly. We want to mount the upper assembly to the lower assembly with this horizontal upper rail facing inward toward the rotator using the vertical rail mounting knob. This is the vertical rail. Using the vertical rail mounting knob, we'll secure the upper assembly to the lower rail. A good secure fit. And that's the basic assembly of the Nolan Ninja 3. Very simple. It's only two components. Now to mount the camera onto the Nolan Ninja 3, what we want to do first is we want to loosen the upper rotator tensioning knob which will allow us to rotate the upper rail to about the horizontal position, tighten it, and then we'll take our camera, in this case here we're using the D300 with the 8mm Sigma lens. On the base of the camera we already mounted the camera plate. This is the camera mounting plate. You want to make sure that the camera mounting plate is secure to the base of the camera as well as being squared. Taking the camera mounting plate, you want to mount this to the upper rail of the Nolan Ninja using the camera mounting knob. A good secure fit. And that's basically how you set up the camera on the Nolan Ninja 3. One final tip when mounting your camera to the Nolan Ninja 3, it's a good habit to get into so when you mount the camera that the hand grip is on the upside of the mount.